what you do know. Do you think there's any justification at all for what Sonny did to Cyrus? In my deepest, darkest fantasy, I may have dreamt about vigilante justice, but it's not something I would go through with. I want to trust the law. And that's my dilemma. It's not with Cyrus. It's with the man who nearly beat him to death with just his fists. Sonny Corinthos? Well, we both know he's the one who nearly beat Cyrus to death on New Year's Eve. Yeah. And the more I think about that, the less I feel like a city official and the more I feel like Sonny's accomplice. Well, unless you've been doing some side work for Sonny that I'm unaware of, I don't know where you're getting that from. <sighs> It's because I tell myself that Sonny and I are old friends. And Cyrus, although he's a blood relative, he has committed all of these horrible crimes. And I think he's trying to straighten himself out. But I don't really know. The only thing I know is that he's going about it in the most irritating way possible. I lose patience with him. I've slammed the door in his face. Well, there's a big difference between slamming a door and trying to kill someone. Yes. But my point is that if it were anyone but Sonny who attacked Cyrus or who attacked anyone and put them in the hospital, I would want the police to pursue that case. I would want the assailant to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. So why would Sonny be the exception? And, and no one, especially not the mayor, should ever look away from a crime because it was committed by someone they thought was their friend. Are you thinking about having Sonny arrested? The one thing I truly know is that that's not my call to make. But I do know whose call it is.